Welcome back to Alma, Missouri, the dairy farm. Oh yeah. Really only a little bit's happened since you guys saw us last year. About a hundred more cows. Say hello to 100 more brown Swiss. These guys will help us make some more milk. And speaking of milk, things are going pretty well at the dairy. The butter's going, the cheese is going, and well, they'll sell overnight. This is a level three as well. If you guys play on PC and using upgradable factories, I'm on level 3 out of 10. We go upgrade that thing all the way before it's all over with, but yeah, there's really no reason to do that yet. Really at this point, because we're in December, there's a lot of food left. We should probably just fast forward a little bit of time. However, I am slightly worried we're going to run out of food. I got a hundred-ish thousand liters of TMR left, so we're just going to go ahead and give our cows that now. It also looks like we have a lot of other stuff, almost a million liters of hay, 800,000 liters of silage, over a million liters of straw. I think we're doing good. Plus, we have pellets now. Oh, yeah. Dump it in, and we should be good for about three to four months in game, somewhere around there. Yeah, we'll see you guys when it's beautiful outside instead of... Ugh, snowy. We got another hundred cows. <laughs> we only made it to February. We got more baby cows. Now in April, it is warm again outside. Thank goodness. And something really neat is happening. We are making good money from our dairy farms. We're making $72,000 a month or day, whatever, whatever you want to look at it as. Not bad, right? That's pretty good. Also, uh, I think we got more cows. Uh, yeah, we got 50 more brown Swiss overnight. Uh, oh, and then another 50 more. <laughs> oh, no, wait. No, no. Just just these. Zero months old. Goodness Christ. There's so many cows. They're now eating 132,000 liters per, well, month, but day. We have 550 cows in here already. Oof. It's as we've got so much going on now. I'm not trying to make this a huge farm. I know I said I wasn't going to make it a huge farm, but we... We've got a few extra cows now, so I decided to go ahead and buy another one of these. So now we have two. Yes, now we have two combine harvesters, two mowers, and three tractors. Oh, that's seven machines. Oh, that might be too many. Oh, do we have two semi trucks as well? Oh, we do. This is not a small dairy farm anymore. So back when we well, did all of this in grass. So one of the things I want to get away from in this series is mowing up the cow pastures. I like to keep the cows in there. So I think what I'm gonna do is uh, buy this area right here. This is more grass fields. It's still gonna take a little while to do, but we'll come through here. We'll probably do some landscaping, that kind of thing. So we'll just buy that. Plus it's really not that expensive, 325 gram. In the grand scheme of things, it's fairly cheap for what we're up to right now. And this setup right now for the field, what I wanna do is we want to take everything and kick it in towards the middle like this. So we'll do one uh, one headland all the way around, kicking in, and then we'll do another one on the inside. So we'll make one total swath. You guys probably see me do this a bunch of times. That way I can come up and we can bail that and make some silage bells and then toss those silage bells into our Shiloh. Oh, yeah. Cool, there we go. I just hired him up on a worker. Should be able to do the rest of this without me having to interfere. <clears throat> Should. How about we jump in our other swather and we hit a couple of the other fields? Yeah. I may have to run an extra pass, but I think I'm going to utilize the mod that JTurk sent me. Oh gosh, I think it's, it's been a long time since he sent me this mod. Let's go. So this is pretty cool. What this will do is it will windrow and Ted for me all at the same time. We utilized that back in, oh goodness, what was the map that we were playing on? Court Farms, I think. What is blue? Ooh, new, thank you. Let's just make those gray. And then rim colors, base game gray. <laughs> Love that he called it that. Uh, yeah, that's in. Let's uh, let's get ourselves one of these. We'll buy that. You think it's over the store? Yeah, normally I've got it set up here. Also, I don't know what kind of connection that had. Okay, it's got a three point on it, so I'm gonna have to come through there and do that myself. So I think what I'll end up doing is just running this and then getting to a point where I can hire him up on a worker and be good with it. So it should be about right here. There we go. We will enable the fast farming mod, which is real speed limit. Turn it on, rock and roll. So uh, for this, we're just gonna be doing grass. Grass everywhere, harvesting grass. Yeah. Let's give this thing a try. Like I said, it's been a little while since we used it, but I think I'll probably remember how to use this thing pretty quickly. And we have, oh yeah. Uh, this is going to be an interesting little spot right here. Uh, oh, that worked. Don't hit the truck. Don't hit the truck. I totally didn't hit the truck. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but this works. Uh, I would love to see something like this on uh, Mod Hub, something like that. But yeah, they, 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 I don't think there's any way that this could happen. Um, uh, uh, JTurk, maybe? Uh, not likely. And this is why I don't kick everything towards the inside. Obviously, use a wind row to bring different rows together. But you know what? This way, this works just fine. Finished up the hay. That was pretty easy and... I really like this piece of equipment. I really like using that. That was fun. All right, we'll drop it off and uh, we'll make some bales. How about that? This baler will make some real big bales. So I'm gonna switch over to 150 centimeter bales. Maybe that'll make things a little bit easier on us. Oh yeah, cut the lights on so I can see exactly where we're putting them. Uh-huh, that's what we're talking about. Gotta like that, don't you? Ooh, can we get it off? Yeah, all right, let's go. I'm not sure how big the bales could be. Oh, 25,000 liters. Never mind. And I know now. <laughs> so we finished this up. We made a bunch of hay bales. Now we need to go over and take a look at the new fields that we've got. So this set of fields is split up into three different fields. We've got a nice squared off one at 35. 37 is kind of a small one. And then you get out to 38 back here in the middle of the woods. So we'll do our best to get these things mowed up as best we can. I'm not quite sure where I want to start or how I want to get around to it. Maybe, maybe here's the best way. Yeah, that'll do, because we will end up coming through here and probably getting real close to these trees. Well, at least on the first field, we've got them hired up, so we'll go find something to make this into hay. I figure what we could do is just make all of that into hay, and it should kind of counteract all the grass and silage that we'll get off 40. Yeah, I would say this is working out really well. <laughs> yeah, that ain't bam. All right, jump it into here and go. Yeah, it's almost too easy. So our big grass field is almost done. And instead of having to sit around here and wait for this field to finish up, I think it's time that we head over and really get some work done on that big old field right over there. Now for this field, we definitely want to run with the largest bell size possible, 180. Uh, that's 50,000 liter bells. That should put us right where we need to be when it comes to everything. And also I'm going to start here at the top because, well, there's no point to start down at the bottom or anywhere like that run around here break it down turn it on and go yeah here we go Fifty thousand liter silage bells all around this is gonna be so cool first bell is coming out now and there it is getting a little wrappy wrap on and then boop drop it down all right we're gonna do that about a million more times on this field so now the main field is done i haven't really got very far with the other one but i think i can sneak past over here and get to the next field. Yeah, so this is all the way up here. Still gotta do this field and we're done here. So we still have to do 37, but you know what? I mean, it's coming along. Turns out I had to do this whole thing by myself. So we didn't get much done there, but we only got one more field to go. We're gonna have so many bells. All done, looking good. All right, and we actually get to figure out what this is. Oh, this is a little pathway. Oh, this is the pathway on the other field. Oh, okay, kind of anticlimactic. This is also very, very dirty. Better. And boom, just like that, all of the swathing is done. You probably noticed the manure pit is gone. However, I did decide to keep it the way it was because, so, well, we got other stuff that needs to get parked. Is it still on? Nope, that one's done. There's so much stuff. Oh, got it. Sorry, dude. I think in order to do bailing for like ever, uh, it's probably a good idea to come through and go ahead and do this first. We'll hit the wind rowing that way. I don't have to do much, but just stay in the baler and run around. This is going to be a lot. I, I think we're probably going to be good for a little while. We may even have to get more cattle just to have something to do with all this food. And now we are back. Finally, all of these fields have been harvested, which means I now get to come through and make a bunch more bells. I don't know how many bells it'll be. But it's gonna be a lot. Coming through and making more bells. We got another 50,000 liter bell right here. And this is going to be bell number 39 up here. Oof. Now that may not seem like a whole lot of bells, but when you consider that they're all 25 and 50,000 liters, that's a whole lot. And there it is, the last bell is out. Ba bam Now how many bells did we make? I mean, there's been a lot, right? Yeah, 72. It's too many, it's too many. I'm not quite sure which bells to pick up first. Maybe the, the hay bells? That could work, right? I haven't done this in a while. Uh, I don't, nope, just, uh, well, I got one. So that's all that matters. Did I really just turn the truck off? 
gosh. So this is three fields worth of bales right here. Man, oh man, 30 bales just in hay. There's probably another 20 out there sitting in the field. I also just realized that this is about 750,000 uh, liters. Boom, 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 boom. Oi, that means that we've got, yeah, about 176,000 liters. There's so much going on. Now to get to the other hay field. So this is going to be one way over here, 38. So we have to go through all of this is there one to the right? There is one to the right. Go, 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 go. Got it. <laughs> All right, this is the last field that we have to pick bales up off at least hay bales, but we still have a bunch of silage. Well, pre-silage. Yeah, they're not done yet. Well, almost 20. Uh, we got 16. Guess I could cheat some more. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Still pretty good, 400,000 liters of bales. So this will take us over a million liters just for this run and just for hay bales. Bam! Put them in there. Boop, 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 boop. So we can use all of those right now. But now is going to be the fun time. Let's go pick up all of these silage bells, or pre silage bells. They're not silage bells yet, but they're working on it. So interestingly, we got a lot more money for the. Or not more money. We got a lot more off of these bells than we did off of the hay bells. The hay bells took every field around us, and the silage was just this just, just, just little one right here. We still got like, what? 14, 1400, 1.3, 1.3 million liters of silage. Well, it will be silage when it's all said and done anyway. Let's pack this in. I think that'll do just fine. Boom, all right. Well, it's certainly not easy work, but somebody's gotta do it. We harvested all of our grass fields, including the new fields that we got right over here across the tree line. I'm looking at this thinking to myself, hmm. This would be the perfect place to literally plow up all of these. So I think what we'll end up doing is plowing up 35, 37, and 38. We're going to get all these trees out from in between them. Uh, we aren't going to keep the trees in between both of these because it's then going to become well, basically three fields. I think that's going to be the game plan. 